Hello, everyone. So, um, let's see. Uh, the things are things are happening. Uh, we have we have a, a bunch of things going on. We got the fix for uh, the avatar height slash hover height uh, problem with teeny tiny avatars deployed. Sorry about that, uh, but it's. It's fixed now. That was a server-side baking problem. Um, oh well, it it was more exaggerated with the little ones, I guess. Um, and uh, well, we'll if if it's still happening to you, Niran, then it's a different problem. So we'll we'll have to work on it with you, I guess. Um, we are expecting to do an EAP uh, environment viewer, uh, RC viewer, pretty soon. We're homing in on that. It's, of course, out in Project Viewer and I believe just got a, an update. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, let's see other ones that we've 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 got the bakes on mesh project viewer out and um, our C viewers we have the estate management and bug splat viewers and uh, render viewer and uh, I guess we don't currently have a maintenance viewer but there's doubtless one in the wings. Um, so um, not a lot has changed in the last two weeks, but it's, it's coming along. Um, and uh, that should be happening. We're getting started on the process of moving our builds to Visual Studio 2017. Uh, so you may start seeing some changes uh, designed to improve compatibility there. Uh, we're going to try and, yeah, well, 2019 is coming out in very early form. I expect that we'll be on 2017 for a little while. Um, but that's happening. It's so far starting to happen and is going pretty smoothly. So I don't expect that will take us very long. Yes, the idea is to track more closely in the future so that we don't have a five-year catch-up project to do at any point. Um, so, yeah. Um, and we're we're doing Xcode 10. Oh, you asked me uh, with, about the OS, and I didn't look it up. Let me let me do that real quick. Really meant to do that. Uh, excellent. Uh, we're still on 10.13 for the for the Mac built, but Xcode 10. Um, we should we should update that. We we're uh, most of us here are are upgraded to Mojave, and um, 
it does local builds that way there, but we haven't done it on our build servers yet. So I don't know, I don't know what problems you've been you've been running into there, but we haven't seen them locally. I know I've been doing fewer builds constantly. Haven't haven't seen any problem that I can attach to the to the OS. Um, and thank you, Tonya, for your help on the microphone thing. Doesn't seem to be working in all cases yet, but it's. Uh, we're definitely uh, closer, thanks to your help. Um, oh, okay. Well, we'll watch for that when we when we do some test builds. I, I'll I'll try to get that I'll try to get that testing effort um, uh, started next week, if I can. If not. Sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll we'll get those updated. I I'm trying to keep our all our build systems tools much more up to date than they have been in the past. Yeah. Um. So uh, that's the that's the big news. Um, Veer. Wanted to update people on the UDP asset change here. Yeah, this has been a, a thing long in the works. Uh, about, I don't know, something over a year ago, we updated the viewer to do uh, asset fetching using HTTP for a bunch of things that it was still requesting from the simulator. Um, and uh, at the time, we said that we were going to remove the UDP fetching path from the simulators as well, but we hadn't actually done it. At this point, we've got a patch ready to go, so that will be working its way through the simulator process. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, in just a uh, few weeks, you should see that change percolating out. Assume that everyone's the assets over already. So Just people on a reminder to, to do that. right. Anyone anyone on a really old viewer that doesn't s support HTTP asset fetching for all those asset types um, will stop being able to get them when they're on those simulators. And eventually, of course, those simulators will be all the simulators. So um, so at the very least. Uh, start watching for the support requests for, hey, how come my sounds don't load or how come my gestures don't load? Um, uh, we should see that in the release channel uh, within a couple of weeks and on all the full grid, You typically a couple of weeks after that. So, um, coming soon. Uh, it'll be in the release notes when we when we publish that simu when we push that simulator. I think we did blog last year saying that it was going out early January. It's going to end up being a little later than we were originally shooting for. Right. Uh, well, we'll. We'll put it in the release notes for the simulator, and um, I don't know if we'll I don't know if we'll blog about it. Other than that, we will alert the support team. We'll, we'll uh, I can I can send a note to the TPV announce list um, to let you know which simulator it is. Yeah. So. So that that server side change is coming pretty soon, um, but I think that's all the big news we've got to share. Um, happy to take whatever questions we've got.
No questions? No topics? Uh, I have had a couple of people contact me about progress they've been making on Linux, and we'll try to. Uh, it was they sent me mail over the holiday, and I I didn't close that loop very quickly. And I've been since I got back, I've been uh, I, I had a vacation immediately following the holiday break, <laughs> and I just haven't had a chance to catch up. But we'll we will be closing the loop on them. So hopefully we'll make some progress towards. Having some kind of Linux viewer again, uh, we at this point we do not anticipate being able to support voice on Linux because Vivox doesn't. And since the last time there was a Linux plugin, uh, we've changed the um, we, we've changed the APIs in ways that aren't compatible. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I have I have your your request, Jonathan, I haven't gotten back to it. So yeah, I'm my my inbox is down to sixty or something. But we'll get there. Um one of the proposals I got from Nikki was uh, was specifically to use flat packs. Um, to tell you the truth, I have absolutely no idea what that implies. Um, so, um, sure. Yeah, we use Docker on on the server side. Okay. Um, we'd we'd very much like to get it working again, so we'll we'll see how that how that goes. It well, you know, the packaging problem with Linux is just one of the one of the many problems that we've we've got with it the problem with tarballs is that what we're trying to get away from is having to rebuild all the libraries every time um, and just use the system versions of packages uh, but this this is the this is one of the things that led us to um, strongly de-emphasize Linux uh, is that it's not a target. It's a family of almost but not quite compatible targets, and it's just uh, kind of a hopeless, hopeless, uh, hopeless thing to be able to try to support. So um, we will we will try to get the uh, incorporate the progress that other people have made. I will set up builds on our build systems to support them, and then we'll see how it goes. So. Um, no promises whatsoever, but um, if if it can be made to work without breaking things on the other platforms that we have to support, uh, then we'll we'll have something again. It will likely not be everything. Um, no, I I would I would not expect to have havoc. It's not impossible, but it's also not likely. Um, the I guess that does affect mesh uploads. Some. Yeah, well, and pathfinding visualization, but that's not that frequently used a feature. Uh, I, ho I hope that pathfinding will get used more now that we have animesh.
Um, it will be interesting to see if that's true. I'm not sure if I can measure that right now, but um, we can we can experiment it. If we get the viewer working otherwise, we'll we'll do the work to see whether how much effort it turns out to be to get the the uh, the habit component into into our version of the Linux viewer, but of course it won't be available to people who build their own Linux viewer. And uh, another reason why we emphasized it is that looking at the statistics, nearly everyone who was running Linux was running their own version of it, not ours. So I'm not sure the investment in, in putting Havoc into ours would end up being of much use to anybody. Yeah, it surprised me too. Um, there were it was a microscopic minority that were running our builds. I did not attempt to analyze TPV builds because I don't know which ones are yours and which ones are ones somebody else built. I can see that with ours relatively easily. Right, I'm familiar with the with the uh, process on the other hand, then you have to Building a building a viewer from source, including all of its dependencies, is uh, a very long process. I know we've scripted it almost. Uh, I, I, my DevOps guys are pretty busy with the cloud migration project right now. I, I'm afraid uh, I, I am actively discouraging them from spending time on the viewer.
Right. Uh, wine, wine is likely a viable option. Uh, does anybody want to let us know how the Firestorm uh, support for Animesh is doing? Because you were only calling that a beta, right? I, I don't believe there are any um, asset fetching, whether textures or anything else, changes in Animesh. Are there here? Uh, sorry, I was typing. Say it again. Um, we didn't make any changes to asset fetching in Animesh other than... For Animesh? No. Uh, there shouldn't be any change there, although... Uh, if they're, you know, if they've got a build that picks up Animesh, it could have brought in other pending changes as well, I suppose. Oh, Mesh takes forever to settle. Uh, you know, there could be changes in how quickly the, um, how quickly the the state of meshes gets updated? Does the logic for that has has changed? We had to do some work on that for Animesh. Um, I've seen reports about that before. I haven't really seen it much in action, but it's you know it's probably load dependent too. Uh, there was a little bit of changes for the baking service to support Animesh and. Um, but of course, over the same time frame, we've had other changes to the bake service as well, uh, especially for bakes on mesh. I'll have to ask our support team if they've been seeing that kind of problems on our this this kind of problem reports on our viewer. I have not heard they they haven't they haven't brought them up proactively with us, but sometimes you got to ask. Yeah, anything that recent wouldn't be Animesh code since that's been out in release for a while now.
We do have a couple of graphics issues reported against uh, Love Me Render, which uh, are are being looked at now. There was one about uh, vertical lines when you moved across regions. Um, and uh, I don't know, this other thing looks like it's been flagged, just needs more info, I don't know about that one. We we have some work on the on the texture pipeline queued up for uh, pretty soon after the 2017 update, um, but um, it's it's not underway yet. Does it, does it seem to be true that some users have the problem and other users fairly consistently and other users have it rarely or not at all? Hmm. Might be interesting to look at, you know, a list of 10 of each, right? Especially if we could find people who have some accounts affected and other accounts not affected on the same system from the same location. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think we should try to debug it here, but it's just...
uh, we're, we're probably going to be looking at lots of uses of UDP and replacing them with capabilities. If you have specific suggestions on that, um, file them as feature requests. Um, and we'll we'll pursue them. Okay, well, uh, this was an easy one. Um, I will. We will see you all in two weeks.